I screwed up! That one actually had me worried there for a second. They missed their chance. <sighs> Once I destroy you and reap your genes, your planet is next! Force Mobile Assembly Extreme Range Cannon has begun recharging its energy. It will be done in 15 minutes. Red 5's harmonic level is continuing to increase. But I... I'm not sure if he can sustain it very long. Blue 1, Rose 3. Once you've eliminated your targets, go offer Red 5 support. Roger! Tamaki! What are you doing? Rose 3 is a flying guys! The unit must have gotten damaged here and there when we entered the atmosphere! Are you freaking kidding me? Hang tight, Azuro. Hang tight. Hurry, hurry, hurry it up! Please hurry and charge up already! Okay, I'm going to send you some of Purple 2's energy. It should cut down your charge time a little bit. All pitch ship, direct your energy to him as well. Relay the energy to Gold 4 through Purple 2. Confirming receipt of the microwave energy. Firing the energy to Gold 4. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Now that's fast! Actually, isn't it kind of stupidly dangerously fast? We won't make it in time if we wait for a full recharge, but without a sufficient level of power, we won't be able to shoot that enemy down! <sighs> this is just disgusting! Your pathetic weapons can't harm me! End of the 
the line! Asagi! Tamaki! Right now! Attack him now! You better dodge this, Izaru! At this rate, I'm gonna run out of energy. We have got to stop him, no matter what! <laughs> Tamaki, ram into him from behind! Huh? But why? Just do it! Suruga, what are its energy levels? Around 70%! It still isn't enough! When Tamaki makes contact with Klein's unit, you need to shoot Rose 3. At the same time, Izuru and Asagi, you are to help Tamaki escape. Shoot Rose 3? Oh, okay, I think I get it. Roger that! Gold 4 is on the brink of overloading due to forcing it to recharge too fast. This is our last chance. There won't be any second chances if I miss. <sighs> Calm down, man. Just chill. You can do this. You can do it. You can do it. Calm down. Calm down. The site's precision is beginning to improve. Could the pilot's heightened concentration possibly have something to do with this? Gold 4's harmonic level is also increasing. This is his highest level thus far. The enemy squad has been completely subdued. All five members of Team Rabbits are unharmed. They did it, Rin Rin! They did it! Yeah, but that was close. Is that really all the power you got? None of you festering pukes have given me a good fight yet! Your mothers must be really freaking proud of you! Just grab a pair of balls and come at me! I wanted to see Tamaki. Die! Oh, my sweet, sweet Tamaki. Which side's winning down there? I'm not sure, but the battle on Earth should be over soon. If the rabbits win down there, it should greatly influence our battle up here on the front lines. Look, the enemy is starting to pull back. Which I guess means that Izaru and the others took care of business down there. All of you better be alive and hopping. I mean it, bunnies. Klein squad was annihilated? Yes, sir. I'm afraid it would seem that way. We are approaching the limit to how long we can remain active. 
May we receive permission to return to base? Very well, Loomis. Permission to return has been granted. I shall take a different route back. I will see you in person shortly. Thank you, sir. It would seem the time to implement his plan has finally arrived. Fully dismantle each unit and give them thorough checks. For anything that lacks a spare, contact Earth and have them send a replacement immediately. They might have to sortie again very soon. Commence repair work at full power! It took even a worse beating than usual this time. We're gonna be up all night. Hey, we should be grateful that Izu Boing came back safe and sound. It's proof that we've done a good job maintaining this puppy. Yep. Alright guys, let's get busy fixing her up. You guys have it good. You can jump straight to work, no problem. Minus Rose 3's core, everything is still in a bunch of pieces down on Earth. <laughs> the core was all that survived. Everything else has to be remade from scratch. Oh man, I wish we could fly down to Earth right this second and retrieve the poor little battered Rose 3. <laughs> <laughs> our little lady is alright, isn't she? Yep, her unit may have been terribly damaged, but I heard that our pilot walked away without a scratch. What a relief! If anything happened to her, it'd be our fault! We'll have to throw a party to celebrate her victory later, with a cake and tea! Party! I heard her little Suriga was a big help out there. It proves that our theory was totally right, you guys. Even sniping needs physical prowess. His daily workouts with us are starting to pay off! We should totally double our workout routine, you guys! Let's do two sets of 100 manly push-ups, and two sets of 100 manly sit-ups! Feel the burn! Everyone sure is hyped up. Well, that's normal. People feel good after winning a battle. Izu Boing and the others did their best out there. Now it's our turn to step up and work hard. I bet they're sound asleep in bed by now. The shock from the blast destroyed literally all the school's windows. And the building was also completely destroyed. Likewise, the inner facilities were substantially damaged. Furthermore, you made a massive crater on school grounds. Naturally, the outer walls were also damaged. Blue 1 and Red 5's transport chains are damaged in countless locations. Purple 2 and Gold 4 were mostly destroyed by the shock created when the Mobile Assembly Extreme Rage Cannon exploded. As for Rose 3, aside from the core, it was essentially blown to smithereens. It's going to take a long time before all of the spare parts come in and your units are made operational again. <laughs> yeah... But hey, we protected the Academy, didn't we? We should be happy it didn't turn out worse than it did. There are limits to such things. What would you have done if you destroyed the entire damn school? Uh. <sighs> anyway. Well, you did a good job out there. Well done. Job well done. Job well done. Job well... Izuru? Don't, Don't fall, fall asleep! asleep. Miss Tamaki Eerie. Would you like to maybe hang out with me tomorrow? Miss Tamaki Yuri, I'd really like it if you hang out with me tomorrow, baby. Is it really necessary for us to hold his hand like this? It's our duty to help the little guy through this. We live together and die together, right? Huh? Yo, looking good out there. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm honored. Would you like to hang out with me tomorrow? Pardon me? Uh, that's not what I meant. That was a mistake. That didn't happen. Scratch that. Dude, you need to take a chili, for real. I think you might want to pull back for now and regain your bearings. It's a tactical retreat. So we'll hang some other time. We gotta go find Patrick's pills. Ta! Consequently, the enemy forces retreated. But the Allied army suffered immense losses. Earth's forces have been diminished to next to nothing. The masses seem to be greatly distraught as well. So this sense of danger is beginning to escalate. Correct. Until now, they probably considered this on the same level as military terrorists in the far reaches of space. But since this last attack was a direct assault on Earth itself... And from what I understand, nothing but the Ashabi seem to be effective against the Wulguru. That's right. But that's only if we start mass-producing them. And yet, we can't be sure if that alone will be enough to drive the enemy away. Right. Lady Teoria, I just received an encrypted message from Legatus Loomis. It was hidden in a transmission from Earth. From Loomis? That's right. 
when he came into contact with one of Earth's data devices, it would seem that he infiltrated and tampered with the system. At any rate, he gave the impression that he was already aware of your presence on Earth. So he has found out about us. But I came prepared to face the consequences. According to the transmission, your brother is waiting to hear from you. Lady Teoria, how would you like me to respond to him? Not so much as a single unit from Klein's squadron returned? Sir, although they brought it upon themselves, it nonetheless pains me to lose an entire squad led by a military commander. Bluntly put, the position as military commander was too great for Klein. He was a disgrace to the Wulgaru race. Next time, we must choose someone a bit more worthy of the title. One who's not been fighting has no right to say such things, Lutiel. When you get down to it, was there a stock of DNA on the primitive creature's home world, or wasn't there? Unfortunately, I'm afraid we were unable to verify that information. Then why waste time? We should hurry and send out the next squadron. If you would like, I'd be willing to dispatch the men. Well, after the latest incident, I imagine that Earth would be on a high level of alert. I believe we should wait and watch for a while before we do anything. What a boring and cautious plan. It's just like you. There's one thing I wish to report. I took a look at Klein's battle records from his last skirmish. And I've noticed that the humans frequently sacrifice themselves in order to rescue another individual. To meet those ends, sometimes they take unexpected measures to throw us into confusion. Doesn't that simply prove that they are lower animals? Rather than leisurely biding our time, we should finish them off in one fell swoop. In certain aspects, the Earthlings differ quite a bit from other species we have encountered in the past. We cannot afford another mishap like we had with Legatus Klein. Hmm. I agree. What are your thoughts in regard to what Legatus Dolgana said earlier? About how the Earthlings defend one another? After all this time, it would seem that someone else has finally noticed that trait as well. Then it's safe to presume you had already noticed this yourself. Naturally, Lumez. Usually, intelligent creatures have a tendency to develop overall equally. If one forms a weakness, its own kind will target that individual. But what if, hypothetically speaking, one was guaranteed to not be attacked by the others. The various individuals could develop their own talents, allowing them to compensate for their weaknesses while functioning in society. It would almost be as if they were one life form. That is highly improbable, sir. If the animals have a certain degree of intelligence, it's only natural for the species to begin fighting themselves for personal gain. That's right. Cooperation is only a possibility if both sides have something substantial to gain. As is the case with my clan and yours, yes? That is very true, Prince Chiart. My family has served your clan for many generations now. I am most grateful to serve you. The Earthlings are completely alien to us, Lumes, but that's what makes them so amusing. And what about Teoria? I take it you were unable to make contact. Correct. I followed your instructions and sent a transmission to Daniel. I used the Earth's comm circuit. Unfortunately, I was unable to confirm whether he received the message. I trust that no one noticed the transmission? No, not even King Galki. Keep it that way. We shall give Teoria some time to see how she responds. Rada! It looks like he overheard us, sir. What would you have me do? <laughs> I heard something I shouldn't have! I'm dead! <laughs> He's going to kill me! <laughs> Legatus Rada, under orders by Plegasus Charge, you are under arrest! Under arrest? What have I done? You may take your questions directly to him. <laughs> Treason, you say? Yes, Your Majesty. Legatus Rada just came to Prince Chiard and myself. He met with us in secret, and he invited us to join him as conspirators in his rebellion. Naturally, we rejected his treasonous offer, and we are in the process of tracking him down. Rada! Yes, sir, and Plagueis' Giard humbly requests that you leave the matter to his discretion. Very well, then. It's in his hands.
What's your take on this? The weak will always lose. It's as simple as that. Uh, he outmaneuvered me. What should I do? Where could I run? Uh, I must go and inform King Galki at once. I must hurry. I must hurry or else. Uh, uh, why aren't I getting through? Uh, Ah! Don't come after me, please, please, please! Oh, that's it. I'll use the gate. If I can just make it through that. Almost there! This is the essence of the Wargaru way, isn't it, Teoria?